All right, I've got some unknown foreign substance on this couch, microfiber, and I got some gels off here of ours from Harvard in our spotting kit and stuff, and I'm gonna put it on there liberally. It's gonna sit more in the top. Got all kinds of variety of uses here with the agitator, the Conway agitator in our bag. So we're just gonna see what we can do and loosen this up a little bit. And I have no clue what it is. I don't know if it's fingernail polish yet, or if it's gum, or silly putty, something of that nature, or the uh, homemade slime, having suspects of slime. So I'm going to try to get that to work itself out a little bit, and see what we can do with a little extraction. All right, I'm going to try a little bit of extraction. See if I can heat it a little bit too, hooked up to the butler outside there. It's softening it a little bit. This is going to be one of those you got to work at it. Might need some pogo, not sure what I'm going to exactly. I'm going to go with some pogo, put a little bit on the rag here. I'm going to work with it that way. See if I can get anything and before I start going direct, see if it'll uh, transfer anything. No transfer. Well, I'll keep working on her, see what I can get here and see if I can get something going. Always fun when you. The unknown foreign substance. Well, now I'm to the Quest Graffiti Gone. It's in a spray. I have another version of something I'm trying out too, experimenting. Of course, I left that back of the house. It would have been a perfect time to try it. So, this kind of gums up, gels up a little bit. And it's a graffiti remover, so it kind of goes at some paints and stuff. It's going to take a little work. Let's see what I. Well, I'm getting there, but it's a lot of time and patience, and you would think that that would come off easy. Nope. She's, uh, she's been difficult, so we'll keep hitting it with product and try to dissolve it off there. I'm down to that one dot. One dot. I've got it soft enough for it's extracting. Boom. Finally. Woo. There's a lot of stuff I had to use. And some of that, but... Uh, between those two, the gels of and the graffiti gun, I think were my best bet to get it to loosen up. So there we go. We are done.